Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Accounts Guru Cool. Learn accounting online. So today we are here with one more video, and this video we are going to create based on the request of one of our audience. And what's the audience query is that? Can you please tell the entry in case where services rendered but bill not sent and services received but invoice not received and this is audience query and this is going to be uh, discuss about unbuilt revenue and provision for expenses so how is going to be work and uh, what entry we have to uh, post into the systems when in case where services rendered but bill not sent and when services received but invoice not received so related to that we are going to discuss here uh, through this query what we have and i hope it's going to be helpful for that particular viewers as well as the all the other viewers as well so request viewers to watch the video till the end like the video share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to accounting and finance if you want to connect with us related to any training either it's a software or it's a technical or it's a concept if, if any specific concept you want to get it clear so you can reach us on our email id accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com so here we are so this is accounts gurukul audience query related to can you please tell the entry in case where services rented but bill not sent and services received but invoice not received again if you go back into a basic concept this is also going to be relevant with the basic concept how it's going to work because our basic fundamental of the accounting says that you have to follow the accrual concept and these both there are two two concepts are here one is related to you want to see the one is related to in case where services rented but will not send this is the one so this is the first case where invoice in case where services rendered but bill not sent we are service provider we have delivered the services but we haven't raised the invoice we haven't sent the bill to our customer then what entry are going to be and what entry we have to pass into the systems if you go back again our with our basic that says that we have to follow the accounting fundamentals and as per the basic accounting fundamental says that you have to follow the accrual concept you have to follow the accrual concept of accounting and what the accrual concept of accounting says that irrespective either you have raised the invoice or not irrespective either you have received the payment or not but once you deliver the services once you render the services you have to book the revenue into the system then how you are going to do that and the entry for that is because that services is delivered and you haven't raised the invoice so that's your unbilled revenue that's not your billed revenue it's unbilled revenue and how you are going to pass the entry for that is your unbilled revenue assets account debit to unbilled revenue income account credit so you have to pass the entry here related to one is your unbilled revenue account debit and this is going to be parked under your current assets and this is going to be parked under your income so this entry you have to post into the systems or pass into the systems as per the accrual concept of accounting now when you have the invoice when you raise the invoice then how is going to be work the, the accounting is not going to stop here you have to take the impact of this entry and you have to do the reversal of this as well if you pass the first entry when where you deliver the services where you render the services but you haven't raised the invoice then what entry you have to pass it to the system is that 
unbilled revenue assets account debit to unbilled revenue income account credit. Assuming that in the following month, this is for the, uh, we'll take the example. So this is related to the April 2022. And uh, in month, you can see on uh, 15th May, you raise the invoice. What entry you are going to pass here is that your respective customer account is going to be debit to your revenue account is going to be credit. And on the same month, either on the same day or when you are going to close your month, so you have to take the one more entry for that is your unbilled revenue is income account debit to unbilled revenue assets account credit so you have to do the reversal of your this entry for which you have posted in the system space on the accrual concept unbilled revenue assets account debit to unbilled revenue account credit and in the may when you raise the invoice for that you pass the entry that's a customer account debit to revenue account credit and you have to do the reversal of your revenue as well and how you're going to do unbilled revenue income account debit to unbilled revenue asset account credit so this the this is the entry or these are all the three entries you have to ensure when you have the services rendered but will not send that's the first when related to your query second when you are going to raise the invoice third once you raise you have to do the reversal of your entry so this is related to your first query related to in case where services rendered but will not send now the next here in case where services receive but invoice not received and this is related to the vendor or the service provider this is going to be vice versa of our the first case where we are the service provider here we are the service receiver so we are availing the service from our service provider he delivered the services he rendered the services to us we avail the services from him but he haven't raised the invoice on us but again that's going to be related to our accrual concept sees that if we have received if you have availed the services then we have to book that into the system and how you're going to do that on the same month for april you have to debit to your respective expenses assuming that you have the uh training and consultancy services from our aim that's from the accounts to the cool that's you are going to do training training charges or training fees account is going to be debit to provision for expenses here if you know the exact amount of provisions and if you have the contract between the accounts group and you then you have to credit to your instead of provision expenses you have the option to credit to expense accrued expenses account as well and if you don't know the exact amount for that you have the scope to credit to provision for expenses accrued expenses are going to be applicable most of the into the uh, listed entities they need to bifurcate between these accrued expenses and provision for expenses but related to the other mncs where they uh, do all the transactions such kind of provisions they path to provision for expenses but from the interview standpoint and from the understanding standpoint uh, here we have to keep in mind that's a two are different concept we have created views for that as well how it's going to be difference between the provision for expenses and accrued expenses but here we are giving the both the option to credit it's depend upon the what your entity is following so this is the first entry now when you receive the actual invoice what entry you are going to do again you are going to debit to your training account but you are going to credit to your service provider that's a vendor account credit 
And now, since here in the month of April 2022, you already accounted training charges. Again, you are debiting in the month of May as a training charges. So here is going to be considered as a duplicate expenses. We are debiting twice in a same financial year for the same expenses. So you have to do the reversal of this entry. And how we are going to do that? It's a provision for expenses account is going to be debit to your training charges or training fees account is going to be credit. That's the entry you have to pass into the systems. And uh, this is related to the two concepts. What our, uh, our audience ask in a query, in a comment says that, can you please till the entry in case where services rendered, but will not sent. And the second, in case where services received, but invoice not received. And uh, this is the clarification for our audience query. And uh, thanks guys for watching the video till the end. And as we mentioned, if you also have any query, if you also need any clarification from our end, then you can put it into the comment. We'll try to create a video on that. So that's going to be held for all of our viewers. And whatever you have in your mind related to accounting and finance, you are free to put it into the comment. Or if you want to go for any training, or if you want to connect with us for any software training, or if you have any uh, query related to any specific concept of accounting and finance, and if you need to get the more clarity on that, so you can reach us on our email ID, that's accounts.gurukul at the rate yahoo.com. Thank you.